Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of It's Mendark with special guest host Beelsbro here to play some more Surgeon Simulator. I know it's been a while since the last time that we uh, saved some lives, but uh, you know, life's been busy in the life of surgeon. Had a, uh, a malpractice case to take care of, uh, acquired uh, some payoffs to a couple of lawyers and whatnot, but uh, you know what? We ended up getting through that. So uh, first thing first here on our desk, uh, check our uh, notes. Call Trisha. Well, I guess we should call her then. What's the number for one, two, three, slut? I don't know. Who fucking cares about Trisha? Let's save some lives. Operations. Alright, last time I said we're going to do some brain surgery, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, this is real high-tech stuff here. They don't do this at most hospitals, probably because it's not exactly legal. But we do it here. That's why we're the best hospital around. So, we're going to uh, take stock of what our tools are and what our situation is. So, it looks like here, uh, this is all skull. So, his skin and his hair has been stripped away as per a uh, normal procedure. Uh, those were done uh, by the part-time staff, uh, students at the hospital uh, before we got in. Uh, he's tied down and strapped up, which is good. Uh, you don't want them to come in the awake during the middle of a brain transplant. Uh, we got a normal saw, we got a uh, bottle of orange juice that definitely didn't have vodka in it, and a drill, and a sweet fucking looking axe. Uh, a sweet old alarm clock. Uh, British type looking plugs here. This is the brain in this condom jar. So we'll leave that covered by the condom lid. Uh, we got some Q-tips in case we need to clean his ears out. Our usual drug hallucinating, uh, hallucination and causing drugs. Uh, trusty hammer. Uh, some pills that are empty. They didn't used to be empty, but we solved that. Bone saw and uh, this device here. It's really interesting to put this device here. This is uh, high tech stuff. It's a big, scary laser, as you can see by the warning sign here. It says, Do not look into beam with remaining eye. Well, that would be nice, yes. So, uh, the plan here. Um, is to get rid of this top part of the skull uh, with minimal bleeding um, and then take the brain out. Uh, so uh, this is really the tricky part actually. They can grow that skull without damaging the rest of the head. Um, so we could chop away at it with our hammer or with our axe or whatnot, but that causes a lot of trauma. So uh, we're going to take the professional route and use the laser. get to it. So, laser can be pretty dangerous though because it can cause, you know, some excessive bleeding. So now we gotta put it away. Because he's bleeding way too much. That laser's just flying around. It's kind of dangerous. If you just stab in the face with that. That should help. We're gonna put our thing with an easy race here. Try and catch this crazy laser again. All right. Okay. Let's see if we can do it without harming him. Ah, fuck. All right. So we got this side. get this side of the skull without too much damage to the brain. Alright, well, he's bleeding quite profusely here. We're going to stab him in the face with this. Doesn't look like we've been having much luck um, with this laser item here. we we'll have to get better at that. Oh god. So, one thing we're going to do is we will put it up to eye level and then slowly approach. So 
Well, that is a good. We do need to stop the bleeding because he's losing uh, 41 milliliters a second. Holy shit, that's a lot of bleeding. I think that's called a hemorrhage or a hemorrhoid. I am not sure. Again, these terms are not for the likes of important doctors to know. The important part is that he's alive at the end of this. Uh, he obviously won't remember any of this because uh, he'll have a different brain, so... That's the good thing. There. Whoa, shit. Rogue laser. Fuck. We got it. Okay, we gotta go to the other side. Try and see if we can... Get this laser in the area that we want it to be in. One more little piece here and we should be good. Okay, well, he's almost dead, so uh, stick him with a needle to save his life. God, I really hope that we can get that needle still. Uh, we have no time to mess around with this. We must save our patient. Right, less than a liter of blood left. But he stopped bleeding. Uh, it's gonna. We really need to be sober to do surgery. Um, well, you know, partially sober anyway, so we're going to try and grab this anti-drug needle. And see if we can get the skull off the head yet. Just, you know, maybe by pure force. Oh, there's one spot left. I don't think we can risk the laser, so we're going to have to go with the saw. I don't think I don't know if the laser was actually a good idea because uh, it just well, there we go look at that that was barely anything um, oh shit <laughs> he just threw the saw at his skull so we can actually turn that laser off by pressing that off button there that might help and see if we can remove the top of the skull now man it's a good thing this guy's strapped down or he would be pissed. It's attached by one more spot there. Our drill should be able to handle that. Out of the way, laser. Yep, and we're good. So, we have to remove the brain. Uh, obviously we must cut the brain stem. So let's grab our big pair of knives here. It's closest and then carefully. Now he doesn't have much blood left so we can't stab him too much. Okay. Drop these. Stop that bleeding. The uh, well, uh, so yeah, the brain just goes down there in the lap. That's where it's supposed to go. Uh, get rid of the condom lid. Also in the lap, and stick your hand in this gooey jar of brain goodness. And oh, can't can't grab the bottle. Now we very carefully must reattach the brain and all of its connections, like so. So that was one of the fastest surgery we got. Um, we had doctor rating. Always good to have a doctor rating. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today for our brain surgery. Uh, we just got a call that uh, we need to do some surgery in an ambulance. This guy is going to bleed out unless we get his uh, his heart replaced. So uh, it's going to be a next challenge for us here. But uh, we're doctors and we can do it. Till next time, take care.